Life is now so competitive about who we are and what we have, how we look and the lifestyle we lead. If we don't fit in, we can easily feel inadequate. For teenagers and young adults, life is super complicated and social media is the king who tells us how we should look and be. With all this social media, we have a window into people's lives, or do we? Or is it just all the amazing bits and lots of great camera angles and airbrushing? Nearly every week there's a new story of some new celebrity who's altered their images and have been caught out. But we still can't help getting pulled into those images. It's not just social media. It's everywhere in our lives. It's the mums waiting at the school gates, kids in school, the office, the workplace. All of these can have the same pressures to conform and fit in. But what if we don't? We can be left feeling inadequate, isolated, weird, not good enough, not feeling able to join in with everybody. This can lead to anxiety, fears and depression as we find ourselves retreating into our minds as we're already feeling not great and this can just compound those negative feelings. As a child, I always felt a bit weird. I didn't really fit in and couldn't socialise very well and educationally I was classed as a slow learner. My language wasn't formed at the time I got to school and the only one person that seemed to know what I was saying was my older sister. She used to translate everything for me. Of course, I went to school on my own and this was a big issue. Now it would be different as a child like me would have stuck out like a sore thumb and been given that extra support that I needed. But back then, it wasn't the case. And the teachers just said, leave her to it. They just put you at the back of the class. From that point on, it was them and me. Me being the outsider, looking into the world, an observer who didn't feel adequate or able to join in or fit in. I did progress and learn to communicate, but always felt an outsider trying to fit in leading me to probably the wrong types of people and situations. Leaving school with just one CSA, which now sounds like some religious education qualification. I got a job and this was the turning point for me. I could sweep the past under the carpet and I finally felt that I did fit in. I continued to work hard to fit in and I did become very successful in my career, but I was still unhappy. I tried lots of therapy and self-help, but hypnotherapy was my saviour and has helped me transform from the weird, super awkward child to a unique individual. I learned that I was massively dyslexic when I started my degree, and this was a light bulb moment for me. Striving to be the best version of myself and fit in has led me to be who I am. But I'm not sure it's always made me happy. I'm happy to still be a bit weird, or as I call it now, unique. And I try to embrace myself as an individual. I understand this is who I am and I won't change it. I'm not bothered about fitting in anymore. I'm happy to be myself. This is something we all need to learn to be. This is to be truly happy with just being ourselves and not fitting in. Back in the 80s, it was pop socks, big shoulder pads, Lion King perms, and all of those are so not in now. And every decade have a, has something else that's the in thing. These things change. So they don't define us. It's who we are inside that truly counts. Being the old me was exhausting. My mission to try and fit in 
always on red alert and super sensitive to what people thought of me. I now know truly there is no need and it is safe to be who you are because that's all we can be. What we see on social media, the TV and the news only portrays a small section of the world. The diversity of our society is ever growing and being your unique self is the key. Life's too short to pretend to be somebody that you're not. And why would you? It doesn't make you happy. Instead of trying to fit in, spend the time finding the things in life that do make you happy, that enables you to be yourself. And this will start growing your confidence in who you truly are. It's time to embrace every part of who you are Laugh things off and don't take yourself so seriously. If you want to see this from somebody else's viewpoint, then take the time and think about the people who love you unconditionally and what they would think if they knew you weren't being yourself around them. They would be hurt that they couldn't allow you to be yourself with them. They will want you to be happy in your life. And if people don't behave like this to you, they maybe don't love you as unconditionally as you'd like them to. Don't waste another day being someone you're not, trying to fit in with people. Of course we all have to compromise and, and that's life. But we do have a unique opportunity in life to embrace diversity and find who we truly are. No one can do this for you. This is your journey. And you might not know what will make you happy. But that's fine. One thing that will make you happy is just to relax and be yourself. But as you challenge yourself to do what's right for you and find situations, experiences and people that enable you to feel free to be you. It won't take you long to find out who you truly are. <laughs>